So it's all the old rich people that live here. Yep, all old people with a lot of money. Crazy, right? They have all this cash and nothing to do with them. What a waste. They should just give it to me and then I can buy that brand new Porsche I've been wanting. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, you've got Mrs. Hoover. She's older and can't speak, but don't let that fool you. She's still really smart. How smart can an old mute lady be? Oh, hello, Dorothy. I'm Chad, your new caretaker. I got you some groceries, huh? Okay, I guess I will put them in the fridge. You're all set, Mrs. Hoover. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, I won't disturb you anymore. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, it's just you. You scared me for a second. How'd it go with Mrs. Hoover? Well. Don't tell anyone, but she's actually my new favorite senior. Look at all this cash I just took from her. Chad, that's stealing. What if she finds out? She won't find out. She's so old, she'll probably just forget about it. And if she does find out, she can't tell anyone. It's literally perfect. Look, I don't know, man. My grandma always said, what happens in the dark always comes to light. So we should give it back right now. No offense, dude, but your grandma said? Come on. Besides, it's like you said, they have all this money and nothing to do with it. At least I'm putting it to good use. Chat. Hey, Dorothy. Hope you've been well. This package came in for you. Where would you like it? You know what? I'll just put it in your room. You had a teddy bear come in, so I put it on your bed. Anything else I can do for you, Mrs. Hoover? All right, then I'll get out of your way. You know, Dorothy, I have a feeling that you and I are going to have a great relationship together. Have a fantastic day. I thought you were the boss. <laughs> hey, check out this new gold chain I got courtesy of Mrs. Hoover. What, Chad? I can't believe you stole from her again. Look, you should just give it back right now. <laughs> oh no, it's mine now. Hey, I want you to check out this new Porsche. See, I'm thinking if you and I work together, we could have matching dream cars by the end of summer. Are you crazy? Absolutely not. Look, it's bad enough you're stealing from Mrs. Hoover. I can't believe you want to steal from other people, too. Who we'll want to? I already am. Look at how much I've made in the last two days alone. What? Chad! Look, I already told you what happens in the dark always comes to light. Please, just save me the lecture. You are like a broken record, man. 
Thank you. Now what's in your box? A teddy. A hey, you boys know about movie night happening in a few hours? Um, uh, no. no. What's it for? I don't know. Mrs. Hoover set it up. All the seniors will be attending. Can one of you work it? Wait, everyone will be there? As in, no one will be in their houses? Um, no, I guess not. Why? Oh, Dennis can work it. I'm, I'd love to, but unfortunately I'm busy tonight. Um, yeah, sure. <sighs> Thanks, Dennis. Oh, someone ordered those private your resident. Would you mind uh, delivering them to everyone? I, I, I can actually do that. You know, it's the least I can do since I can't work the movie tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Dude, this is perfect. I'll use the dumb bears as an excuse to scope out each person's apartment, and then I can find out where they keep all their valuables. No, Chad, that's not right. Oh, come on, stop being such a scaredy cat. All you have to do is keep them busy during the movie while I go rob these geezers blind. No, no way, absolutely not. I'm not getting involved in this. You don't have a choice. Because if I get caught, I'll just lie and tell them that you're in on it with me. So let's go treasure hunting. I don't know, man. This thing really creeps me out. I don't think so. Oh, oh hello, Mrs. Hoover. All right, everyone. Okay, that's the last one. The movie Mrs. Hoover brought is about to start. Oh. <laughs> Please have a seat. So I found out where they're keeping all their cash and jewels. You make sure they just keep watching the movie. I'm gonna go take it off. No, 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 Chad. Please, it's not worth it. Look, we can get our cars the honest way. Let's just keep working hard, and eventually you'll become managers like Hugo. I'm not very good at this thing. Oh, oh, for what? So we can pick up trash up off the floor? Yeah, right, man. Give me a break. I'd rather make money the easy way. Chad, wait. Hello, sir. All the teddy bears are in their residences. Mm. This one was actually an extra. Anyways, I, I, I would love to stay, but my, my grandma's sick, and I take care of her after work. Wow. That's very nice of you, Chad. You're such a good guy. I mean, what can I say? I guess taking care of seniors is in my blood. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Hello, everyone. We're going to go ahead and play a movie, courtesy of Mrs. Hoover. All right. <laughs> Turn up the volume. I can't hear anything. I'm um, sorry, it looks like the TV isn't turning on. Man, what is this? The batteries must be dead. Um, sorry guys, let me go try to find some new batteries. I'll be right back. They're starting to get impatient. I know, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. I don't understand. Is that Dorothy's apartment? What is this? Dorothy, is this what I think it is? Chad stole your gold chain? How did you get this video? Eyes. What about the eyes? Oh. A video camera inside the bear's eyes? Oh. Oh. Hey, that's my apartment. And my watch. Is this live? I can't believe this. I thought you said you had to help your grandma. 
Uh, boss, I, I do. I mean, I, I did. You, you see, it's just... Save it! I know you've been stealing. We got it all on tape. I'm calling the police. No, 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 please. Please, stop, stop, stop. Okay, it, it wasn't my idea, all right? It was Dennis's. What? He's the one that made me do this. Come with me. From us. Give it back. I saw you take my watch. I'm really sorry about this, everyone. But you're all going to get your stuff back. This and whatever else was stolen, I promise. And I'm gonna see to it that we press full charges against Chad. Yeah, good. And Dennis. For what they did. What? What? Dennis. Me? But I didn't do anything. Now stop lying. No, this, this was all your idea. If you didn't want that stupid Porsche, I never would have gotten into this mess. What? No, this all happened because you wanted it. He was the real reason. No, no, you know that's not how it went, okay? They're over here. Both of them have been stealing. We have it all on tape. Please, arrest them. Sir? He made me do it. Look, look, I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with this. No, you're a liar. He's the one that put me off the edge. Ma'am, please stand back. This man's a criminal. Dorothy, Dennis was involved in stealing your things. Chad told me the entire idea was his. Oh, come on, stop being such a scary cat, man. All you have to do is keep them busy during the movie while I go rob the skeezers blind! No, absolutely not. I'm not getting involved in this. You don't have a choice. Because if I get caught, I'll just tell them that you're the one that put me up to it. See? I had nothing to do with this. I even tried to stop him. Wow. You really are a piece of work, Chad. I can't believe you even tried to blame Dennis. You should really know that what happens in the dark always comes to light. Take them away. Come on. Please, take those off of them. No. Sure. No, 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 please. Please, you can't do this to me. Please, I said I'd give it all back! I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Thanks for helping us get the real guy. No problem, but... I really had nothing to do with this. It was all Mrs. Hoover. She's the real hero. You know, I could really use a guy like you in upper management. What do you say? <laughs> what? Really? Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. No. Thank you for being so honest. <laughs> He's so gross. Chad? Dennis? Oh my gosh, is that your car? Yeah. After he got fired, they made me manager. So I just picked her up last week. That should be mine. If Mrs. Hoover didn't catch me on tape. I tried to tell you, the elderly are smarter than they may seem. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, anyways, man, you deserve it. Congrats. Hey, look, I know how bad you wanted one. Um, wanna hop in and go for a ride? Really? I would love to. <laughs> I'm supposed to stay and finish picking up all this trash, but they'll never find out.
actually. If I've learned anything, it's that what happens in the dark always comes to light. So I should probably stay and finish my shift. Sounds like some good advice. Proud of you, man. Thanks. I guess I've actually learned my lesson. See you at the top one day. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're really despicable. All right. All right, you guys may be seated. All right, plaintiff, go ahead, start. Thank you, Your Honor. As you can imagine, life is hard enough for my client who is disabled. But what makes it even harder is dealing with negligent business owners like the defendant here. <laughs> that is not what's going on here. Wait your turn, defendant. You may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. My client here was using the restroom at the defendant's place of business. He was trying to get up when... May I approach the bench, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Thank you. As you can see, my client was holding on for dear life to grab the bar for support. But it was improperly attached, causing him to fall on the floor and injure his head. Thankfully, I was nearby to help take the photos. But if the defendant wasn't trying to cut corners, and do such a shoddy I did not try to cut any corner. Hey, you can speak when it's your turn. Continue. But if the defendant wasn't so negligent in installing that bar, my client wouldn't be in a neck brace today. Therefore, we are demanding the defendant to pay $25,000 in damages and all attorney fees. $25,000, that's gonna- Order. I'm not gonna tell you. Be quiet again. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go ahead and finish. That's all I have, Your Honor. But the evidence, it speaks for itself. All right. Now, what do you have to say about all this? Okay, look, that grab bar was not negligently installed. I did it myself, and I know I didn't cut any corners. How do you explain all these pictures, then? I don't know. Well, it looks like all of the evidence is heading in one direction. It's clear that the defendant is negligent in creating injuries to our plaintiff. Therefore, I have to rule in favor of the plaintiff. No, Your Honor, please. I'll have to close out my business. The decision's been made. Tomorrow, we'll get together and we'll talk about the damages. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope you learned your lesson. When you take advantage of people, it comes back to you. All right, uh, next case, uh, Tabitha Clemens versus Jake O'Dell. Amazing. Mm, like clockwork. <laughs> you really think we'll get the full 25 grand? Don't we always? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much as I can in attorney fees. This thing is really starting to itch. My butt is really sore, so I'm just gonna stand. What are you doing? If anyone sees you, we'll both be exposed. Let's get out of here first. Plus, I found another business to hit up. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be an easy one. 
<laughs> this one has a dressing room that's perfect. Mm. So just give me a couple minutes and then come in. Okay, Pookie. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Your screwdriver is sticking out. Yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if I try this on in the back? Of course. Thank you. because it fell when I was holding onto it. Ah! Oh, oh, I think I broke something. I'm so sorry to hear that. Would you like us to call you an ambulance? At first, I want to talk to an attorney. Ah, okay, I can't find my phone. Uh, here it is. Watch the lights. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, or, uh, uh, uh. I don't mean to overstep. My name is Stephanie, and I'm actually a personal injury attorney. I specialize in ADA cases. Really? And you would help me? Yes, of course. No one deserves to be treated like this, especially someone in a wheelchair. Is it okay if I take some pictures? That's fine. Why is it so cold? It's almost over. Girl. Tell the owner. He will be hearing from my office soon. This was really negligent of you guys. We'll let him know. And again, we're so sorry for what happened. You should be. Um, I just need one more second. Why are you taking pictures? Okay, look, this is gonna be hard to believe, but that guy was faking it all. He did the same thing to my business. Uh, yeah. You can tell just by looking at the holes. Well, what do you mean? Well, just look at the way that the screws came out of the wall. That's way too smooth to have been pulled out. So that means that somebody came by and unscrewed them. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on their face. It was priceless. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I forget, here's that settlement. 
from the restaurant case last week. Wow. That is the easiest money I've ever made in my life. Well. <laughs> it was a pleasure doing business with you, as always. Mm -hmm. I better get going. So here is your wheelchair. Thanks. <laughs> ha! I got you now. What are you doing here? <laughs> you two are the biggest fraudsters on the planet. Can't wait until the judge finds out about this. Get ready to go to jail for a very long time. The judge won't find out about this. <laughs> what are you talking about? I got the pictures right here oh. of you and- Hey, yeah, 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 yeah! Stephanie! So where's your evidence now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ooh, ooh. Should I say cheese? Oh, so close. <laughs> okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. No? I'll just tell the judge what I saw. Oh, and you think he'll believe you? <laughs> <laughs> you really don't think he's going to know what's going on here? When I tell him that you're going from business to business pulling off the same scam? Oh, well, it's not a crime to get injured at different places. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just a, an attorney. Well, not for long. We'll see you in court. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, don't forget the checkbook. <laughs> okay, look, I'm telling you, Your Honor, this is all one big scam. I saw it with my own eyes. Is there any truth to this? None whatsoever, Your Honor. He's just trying to paint us in a bad light to avoid taking responsibility for his own negligence. I urge the court to issue punitive damages to punish the defendant for his lies. Well, you are accusing them of some very serious crimes. Do you have any evidence uh, to substantiate your accusations? Well, like I said, she crapped my memory card and then she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ate it? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I've heard some pretty outrageous stories in my day, but that one takes the cake. You can look up their court record. They have a history of filing cases against businesses. Mm, yeah, 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 but you know, even so, it's not illegal to have multiple injuries. In fact, it's kind of common among ADA cases, so my ruling stands. No, 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 no. Please. Look, that would mean I have to shut down my whole business and... Look, I'm telling you the truth, okay? You just have to believe me. Without proof to substantiate your story, it's just hearsay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you have any evidence? No. All right. Well, then I hereby uh, award 25,000 to the plaintiff for the demand, along with, you no, know, another 10,000 for your attorney fees. Stop. Your Honor, the plaintiff and his attorney are both frauds. Liar! Who is this guy? I mean, why should we be listening to him? Oh, well, maybe because I'm the one with the folder full of photos of you committing fraud. Oh, and uh, for what it's worth, I'm an undercover federal agent. Your Honor, I've been investigating these two for quite a while now. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Oh. And looks like you've been telling the truth from the beginning, defendant. Oh. Okay, it was all her idea, she made me do it. Oh, be quiet! <laughs> You're just as guilty as I am. Arrest those two. Arrest, <laughs> arrest me. You can't do that, I am an attorney. Get off of me! You were an attorney. I'm gonna make sure that you never practice law again. Uh, get these handcuffs off of me! Well, you're right about one thing. When you take advantage of people, it always comes back to you. <laughs> Wait, oh, what are you no, talking no, I, about? I cannot go back to prison. That's not a good place. I am an officer and the court of law! Thank you. Well, this case is dismissed. Nah, but seriously, Gordon, it's been an incredible 15 years, man. Thank you, Oscar. 
You know, you always treated this shop like it was your own and every customer like they were part of your family. Here. You earned that. Give my love to your wife and kids, okay? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to promote one of you two now, huh? <laughs> Before you continue, sir, I just gotta say, I love that suit. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Leroy. But it's not gonna be that easy. Whoever runs this shop is gonna have to earn it. I'm promoting the person who can earn the most amount of money for the shop by the end of the day. Good luck. Becoming shelf manager. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be like a dream. <laughs> so to shatter your dream, but that manager position's mine. Pretty soon I'm gonna be your boss, so you should get used to taking orders from me. You know what? Start by throwing that away. Oh. Hey. See, this is the kind of customer I hate. They're broke and never spend any money. You can tell just by looking at them. Hey! Que pasó, Jose? Actually, uh, my name's Sam. My tire sign just came on. Can one of you check it? Yeah, not a problem. I'd be happy to. Just go ahead and... Uh, lo siento, but no. We don't fill air here, Paco. Take it to the gas station. I'm actually worried I won't make it to the gas station. Can one of you please just check? No, the answer is still... Sure, no. I'll check it for you. Okay, just pull your car in. Thank you so much. Hey. See this? This is exactly why you'll never be a manager. Take it from me, okay? Stop wasting your time with poor looking people and maybe then you'll get ahead. Look, I've always believed in helping people. Okay, and besides, you should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> uh, oh, would you look at that? A woman who knows nothing about cars. This should be like taking candy from a baby. Watch and learn. <sighs> well, hello. Welcome to Chris's Car Pairs. Can I help you, sweetheart? Hi, my check engine light is on. I, I think I may just need some new spark plugs. Well, I know as a woman, you probably don't know much about cars, but take it from me. This can be very serious. Oh, I actually know a lot about cars. If I could just get some spark plugs, I can change them myself. Look, look, just because you found some inspo on Pinterest doesn't mean you know about cars. Trust the experts, sweetheart. Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's Christina, by the way. My husband doesn't like it when other men call me sweetheart. Mmm, sure. Hey. Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand, maybe even ten. Oh, okay, yeah, that guy's definitely not spending any money. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks again. This isn't even my car. It's my daughter's. I have a business nearby. Sure you do, Hector, and I'm the CEO of Tesla. <laughs> hey, let's take a look. Well, the air is just a little low, so a small top-off should do the trick. All right. There. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in always treating customers like family. So I'm not going to charge you for a little bit of air. Wow. God bless you. I won't forget this, and trust me, I'm definitely coming back. Thank you. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in treating everyone like, are you serious? Did you not see how much cash he had? I would have taken it all. Well, he did say he was coming back. <laughs> That's what they all say, but they never do. Take it from me. Get it all while you can. Now watch and actually learn. 
Well, hello, and welcome back. Listen, I can really fix it myself if you just give me Oh, oh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, this is a serious job that requires the right man. Luckily for you, I'm right here. Now, if you just give me the key, I'll give it a full inspection. But that's really not necessary. <laughs> Trust the professionals, okay, sweetheart? Christina. Right. Now go have a seat in the customer lounge, and I'll come get you. A full inspection? Is that really necessary? Oh, oh yes it is. You see, a full inspection costs $250, and that is just the beginning of it. Just wait until I tell her her car has a leak. Okay, how do you know she's not going to catch you? She's a woman for crying out loud. She doesn't know the brake from the gas pedal. Take it from me. I don't know. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its cover. Oh, you think I would take advice from you? The guy who gives out free air and made zero dollars today. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Besides, with my charm, I'll have her thanking me for not charging her more. <laughs> oh boy. Am I glad you brought this in today? The engine needs to be replaced. What? That's crazy. It was running perfectly fine. <laughs> Look, I know that as a woman, you may not be able to understand all this, but I am doing you a huge favor. Take it from me. Five grand? And you charged me the $250 inspection fee. I said that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, but the car needs a brand new engine. You should be thanking me. You should have seen when I got into that thing. It was leaking engine oil everywhere. <sighs> I can't believe this. Hey, where do you think you're going? See? Look at all the oil your car was leaking. Would you mind giving me some new spark plugs? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I know that because I'm a woman, you may think I don't know a lot about cars but I actually do. Thanks. You see, when a car's spark plugs are bad, it can cause the engine to misfire, which will trigger your check engine light to come on. Needle nose pliers, please. Ratchet with the long extension. See all the oil and carbon deposits? That means it's time to replace it. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a gauge gap? Now that the spark plugs are replaced, watch. See? No check engine light. Wow, that was amazing. But I don't understand. How do you know so much about cars? Let's just say my dad owns a shop. I grew up working on cars. Your dad? Christina! What are you doing here? I just came to get some new spark plugs, Dad. Wait. She's your daughter? Yeah, yeah. She actually used to work here back when Oscar started. But uh, I guess you guys haven't met yet, huh? She's my little girl. <laughs> I actually named the shop after her. Wait, Chris's car repairs? Yeah, yeah I call her Chris. <laughs> wow, okay. So, well, I'm so glad I was able to fix your car for you. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the cost. It's, 
It's on the house after all. We always treat our customers like family here. Oh, save it. Leroy here tried to charge me $5,000 to replace my entire engine when all I needed were some spark plugs. You what? Oh, sir, I, I, I can explain. You see, I Wow, wow, that is a nice Porsche. Juan, what are you doing here? Hey, Sam. I told you I'd be back, and this time I brought my car. I'm thinking about painting it red, getting some new rims, maybe even a new sound system. What do you think something like that would cost? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, around 10 grand? That sounds great to me. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Just wait for me in the lunch and I'll be right with you. Great. Thank you. Well, Devin. Looks like you just won the contest. Congratulations. You're the new shop manager. W wait, really? Now, are you serious? I'm not gonna work for him. Unless you make me the manager, I'm gonna quit. Oh, no, thank you. That won't be necessary because you're fired. See, at this shop, we like to treat everybody like their family, not take advantage of them. This is unbelievable. Can this day get any worse? Hey, can I give you some advice? Never judge a book by its cover, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Take it from me. You got me fired. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. What'd you just call her? Sweetheart. Why? Who are you? Her husband. Hi! Welcome to Ashley's. We're not a plus size store. Can you show the big girl we're the nearest, like, plus size store? I'm so sorry about that. I'll be here if you need me. What do you think? They're a bit tight. Hey! Watch it, Batty! I'm so sorry. I changed out of those jeans and leave. 